Hello, this is Mr. Jealous. Uh, what you see in front of you are two different Ken Ken puzzles. And it is spelled Ken Ken Puzzles. Little critical thinking. For Ken Ken Puzzles, you can only use numbers one, two, and three. And they have to have a one, two, and three in each column and row. Now you'll notice on this puzzle we have a four plus, we have a one minus, we have a four plus, and we have a seven plus. What those are is this is the type of problem, an addition problem, and it has to have a sum or equal four. And the dark bold boxes means that these two numbers will have a sum of four. So it's either going to be one and three or we could flip it and go three and one. Order does not matter. So let's try here one and three. Then I have another double box up here and it says we're going to use a subtraction problem to equal one. So it's either three minus two or two minus three. So I'm gonna put a three there and a two there. Again, order does not matter. Three minus two would give me one, or we could flip the numbers and we could have, excuse me, a three and a two there. So you'll notice that I have a one, a three, and a two in this row. I have a three, and a one in this column, which means I need to have a two down there. So a one, a three, and a two in this column. And now I am going to uh, come over to this one. And again, I'm just kind of making my way around the puzzle. I don't know what I'm really doing and I might need to make some changes. So if I have a two here, I need to add up to four, so it's either gonna be a three and one or a one and a three. I notice that there is a three over here, so I cannot have a three in the same row, so I would have to have a one there, and a three would have to go there. So two, one, and three. And then, uh, if I have a three here, I have to have a two here, and a one there, but I've got a problem. One and three is four, two plus one is three, plus two is five, and I need to add up to seven, so that does not work. So now I need to go back and I'm gonna erase. And sometimes this does take more than one attempt. So let me try, uh, let me try to put, uh, da, da, da. let's go a three and a one here, and let's go a two and a one there. So two minus one is one. Three plus one is four. Uh, if I have a three and a one, I have to have a two down there. Um, if I have a four here, I need to have a one uh, let's go three here and a one here so that I can have a three here and a two here. So two minus one is one, three plus one is four, two plus three is five, plus two is seven, and three plus one is four. Two, one, three, one, two, three, one, three, two, one, three, three, one, two, da, 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 and we have gotten it. This is how you do Ken Ken puzzles. So a little bit of creativity. You have to have a one, a three, a two in each column and each row. And then they have to uh, have the answer, addition problem that equals four, addition problem that equals seven. You'll notice over here on the right side, we've got similar problems, but that doesn't happen all the time. You have one with subtraction, four with addition, those are the same, but we have a five with addition here, 
and a four with addition here. If I were to show you other ones, they would, they would all be different. So why don't you give yourself a shot, try this one, uh, and we can go over it in class. Take care, have a great day. I hope you kind of understand how Ken Ken problems go. If you're not sure, uh, watch this video back and it's all trial and error as you saw me as I tried to figure it out. Take care, have a great day. Don't give up.